the stars hung like a tapestry of dreams, each a note in a symphony older than time. In the year 2035, aboard the Orbital Observatory Station, Dr. Aisha Khan stared at the holographic display of Proxima B, a world 4.2 light years away that had haunted her since childhood. Its data streamed in from the James Webb Space Telescope, orbiting silently nearby, its golden mirror drinking in the universe's secrets. Aisha's fingers danced across the console, her heart racing as she traced the planet's spectral lines, hints of water vapor, whispers of carbon compounds. Proxima B wasn't just a dot in the sky, it was a question mark, a mirror reflecting humanity's deepest hopes. Anything new, Aisha, came a voice from behind. It was Javier, her colleague, his eyes glinting with the same curiosity that had brought them both to this floating lab. He leaned over her shoulder, his breath catching as the display flickered with a new signal, not just new, Aisha murmured, zooming in, impossible. The signal was faint but unmistakable a rhythmic pulse, too structured to be natural, too complex to be a glitch. It was the kind of anomaly astronomers whispered about in hushed tones, a techno-signature. Aisha's mind raced, back to 2019, when a fleeting radio burst from Proxima Centauri had sparked global frenzy before being dismissed as earthly interference, but this, this was different. The James Webb spectrograph had caught it, embedded in the light of Proxima, B itself, as if the planet were whispering directly to them. Could it be? Javier's voice trailed off, afraid to say it. Let's not jump to aliens, Aisha said, though her pulse betrayed her calm. Run the diagnostics again, triple-check the filters, they worked through the night, the stations hummed their only companion, the signal held steady for hours, then vanished, leaving behind a ghost of possibility. Aisha couldn't shake the feeling that Proxima B was more than a rocky world orbiting a red dwarf. It was a story, one humanity was only beginning to read down, on Earth, the signal's discovery leaked to the public, igniting a firestorm. Social feeds buzzed with speculation some called it, proof of intelligent life, others a cruel cosmic tease. Aisha and Javier were summoned to a virtual summit with the world's top astronomers, their faces projected in a glowing ring around the station's conference pod. Dr. Alina Voss from Harvard spoke first, her voice sharp. This signals. Structure suggests modulation, not unlike our own radio transmissions, but it's gone now. If it's artificial, why stop? Maybe they're shy, Javier quipped, earning a few chuckles. Aisha shot him a look, but her mind was elsewhere. Imagining Proxima B's surface craggy cliffs under a crimson sky, rivers glinting in the eternal twilight of its tidally locked zone, or it's a beacon, Aisha said, her voice steady. Despite the weight of her words, a message that only broadcasts intermittently, we need more data longer observations, deeper spectral analysis. The summit ended with a plan, redirect the James Webb's full attention to Proxima B for a month-long observation cycle. Aisha felt the weight of history on her shoulders. This wasn't just science, it was a dialogue with the cosmos. She imagined her ancestors gazing at the stars, wondering if they were alone. Now she held the tools to answer. Days bled into weeks. The telescope's infrared sensors peeled back Proxima B's secrets, layer by layer. Its atmosphere showed traces of methane and oxygen, a tantalizing hint of biological processes, though not definitive proof. The planet's tidally locked nature painted a stark picture, one side baked under Proxima Centauri's flares, the other frozen in perpetual night. But the twilight zone, that narrow band where day met night, glowed with possibility. Simulations, suggested liquid water could pool there, cradled in valleys shielded from radiation. Aisha dreamed of alien oceans, their waves lapping against shores no human had ever seen. One night, alone in the observation deck, Aisha spoke to the stars. If you're out there, she whispered, what are you trying to say? The signal hadn't returned, but its echo lingered in her mind. She thought of her daughter Maya back on Earth, who'd once asked, Mama, do the stars have friends? Aisha had laughed then, but now the question felt profound. Javier joined her, holding two steaming mugs of synthetic coffee, still talking to the universe, he teased. It's talking back, she replied half serious. That signal wasn't random, it felt intentional. Javier sipped his coffee, thoughtful. What if it's not a message for us? What if it's a relic, like a cosmic lighthouse left on autopilot? Aisha considered this. Proxima B could be a graveyard, its atmosphere holding the chemical ghosts of a long-dead civilization, or it could be on the cusp of life, microbes stirring in its twilight pools, unaware of the eyes watching from 4.2 light-years away. Either way, the planet was a mirror, reflecting humanity's own fragility and resilience. The observation cycle yielded more data but no new signals. The team detected subtle shifts in Proxima B's starlight, suggesting cloud cover or atmospheric storms. Aisha built models of the planet's climate, imagining winds howling across its twilight zone, carrying mist from unseen seas. The James Webb spectrograph revealed spikes in carbon dioxide and water vapor, hinting at geological activity perhaps, volcanoes or tectonic shifts. 
Each datum was a brushstroke, painting a world both alien and familiar. Public fascination, group, a viral hologram series depicted Proxima B as a lush paradise, ignoring the harsh realities of its radiation-battered surface. Aisha fielded calls from media, her patience thinning. It's not a vacation spot, she told one reporter. It's a puzzle. We're just starting to solve it. One evening, Maya's face appeared on Aisha's tablet, her eyes wide with excitement. Mama, did you find aliens yet? Aisha smiled, her heart aching at the distance between them. Not yet, sweetheart. But we found something that makes us wonder. Wonders enough, Maya said, her wisdom piercing Aisha. Exhaustion. The breakthrough came unexpectedly. During a routine calibration, the James Webb caught a faint flicker in Proxima B's infrared spectroma pattern that matched the earlier techno-signature but had a different wavelength. Aisha's team scrambled cross-referencing with archival data. The signal was real, intermittent and maddeningly brief. It carried a mathematical cadence, like a code embedded in the planet's reflected light. We're not alone, Javier whispered, his voice trembling. Don't say that yet, Aisha cautioned, but her hands shook as she logged the data. They sent the findings to Earth, where analysts at Breakthrough Listen and Seti pored over the signal. It wasn't language, not in any human sense, but it bore hallmarks of structure-repeating sequences, non-random intervals. The debate raged, was it a natural phenomenon, like a pulsar's pulse, or something crafted by intelligence? Aisha stood on the observation deck, staring at Proxima Centauri's dim red glow. She imagined a civilization on Proxima B, perhaps, long gone, their machines still humming in the dark. Or maybe they were alive watching Earth's own signals radio waves, city lights wandering about us. The thought was dizzying. Humanity had spent centuries shouting into the void. Now, the void might be answering, dot. The global response was electric. Protests erupted, some demanding the signal be hidden, others calling for a galactic welcome party. Aisha ignored the noise, focusing on the science. She collaborated with Alina Voss to design a new observation protocol. Using the James Webb to scan Proxima B's twilight zone for energy emissions, if the signal was artificial, its source might lie there. In that narrow habitable band, weeks later, the telescope detected a third signal, weaker but aligned with the previous two. It carried a fractal-like complexity, defying natural explanations. Aisha's team published their findings, sparking a paradigm shift. Governments poured funds into interstellar research and breakthrough starshot accelerated plans for a probe to Proxima Centauri. Aisha imagined its tiny sails riding laser beams across the void, arriving in her lifetime to glimpse Proxima B's surface, but the truth remained elusive. The signals could be relics, natural quirks or deliberate messages. Aisha didn't need certainty, the possibility was enough. She thought of Maya, growing up in a world where the stars were no longer just lights but potential homes, voices, stories. Proxima B had become more than a planet it was a bridge to the unknown dot as the stationed orbited Earth. Aisha recorded a message for Maya, sweetheart, we haven't found aliens, but we've found hope. Proxima B is a reminder that the universe is bigger than us, and it's full of mysteries waiting for you to explore. Keep wondering. She sent the message and turned back to the holographic display. Proxima B glowed a pixelated enigma against the cosmic tapestry. The James Webb's mirror tilted capturing another sliver of light, another clue. Aisha smiled, knowing the symphony was far from over. The universe was whispering, and she was listening.